Hey, this is Chandler for Melder Productions, and today I want to talk to you about how you can use M auto volume to reduce S sounds and plosives. So, one thing you probably already know, you can use M auto dynamic EQ for DSing. And that's great, but this only works on a narrow band, and sometimes that's what you want. But if you want to do broad band reduction of a signal, we need to use something else. And one thing we can use is M auto volume. So, we open it up here, and before we get started, let's look at some of the examples. So first I have just a plain audio example of me speaking. Melda M auto volume. The second example has lots of S's. She sells seashells by the seashore. And the last one is filled with plosives. Here, I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosives. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is increase the look ahead just so I don't miss any S sounds. Now I'm going to change the noise gate to disabled. You'll see why in a second. Next, what I'm going to do is click the listen button down here in the detector. I'm going to loop this example with the S's, and as it's looping, I'm going to increase the high pass until I can only hear the S's. So here we go. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 Okay, so there you can hear it's really emphasizing those S sounds. That's what we want. Now, if we turn the listen off, you'll notice that the output is going to increase a lot. So what we want to do is just bring the output down and then we're going to level match the input and the output. So let's try that. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells. Okay, so if we really wanna check it, we can click here, and as it plays, you'll notice the gain reduction here. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. So you notice it there. And if we play the first example without too many S's, you'll notice it's not doing a lot of gain reduction. Melda M auto volume. As compared to this. She sells seashells by the seashore. So if you look at this, you notice it doesn't do a ton of gain reduction for those S's, but we can actually increase that. And one way to do that is to increase the sensitivity. So if we turn this all the way up, like this, we'll get even more gain reduction, but we're gonna need to decrease the output, like so. Now, play it again. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells... Now there, we're getting about 10 decibels of reduction, but you can do even more by increasing the input. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She so now we're getting even more gain reduction, and now we want to make sure the input and output are matched. So let's just make sure they're matched up so we're not being fooled by volume. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, and now let's play it once with it off. She sells seashells by the seashore. Now, let's turn it on. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, so you can hear there's quite a bit of reduction there, and it really got rid of those sharp S sounds. But let's do the same thing now with plosives. So we are going to just go back to the default, increase the look ahead again, turn the noise gate to disabled, and we're going to click on listen, just like before. Highlight this. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing, except instead of using the high pass filter, we're gonna use the low pass filter until you can just hear those 
P sounds. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosive. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosive. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosive. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosive. Okay? And just like before, turn off the listen, turn the output gain down. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosives. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosives. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosives. Okay? Now let's hear it with it off. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosives. Now on. Here I'm popping my P's so you can hear the plosives. So as you heard, there's a great deal of reduction in those plosive sounds. So of course, you can use this in conjunction with something like M Autodynamic EQ, a compressor, or just you know reducing the low end altogether. But this can be used you know dynamically, so you're not just reducing the low end all the time. And in conjunction with other methods, you can get a lot more reduction if that's what you want. And you can do it more transparently by using more than one tool. Be sure to check out M Auto Volume and all the other tools available at Melder Production. Until next time, see you.